Okay, I talked about the clicking noise I heard, which I thought was a bearing, but here it was the set screw was loose on this and it was making it click when it was spinning. When it, it would hit that one part on the turn, I guess, uh, you know, this, this was loose and it was click, 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 click. So that was kind of annoying, but being thorough, I found it pretty quick. Not a big deal. There's the underside of the board, by the way, guys. Remember, my base plate broke. This here is a temporary base plate, actually. That's a gull wing. I have another one. I bought a few of these gull wing uh, trucks, actually. The whole complete ones. Um, I actually uh, I actually already had them on hand. I like to keep parts. I just like to have them. I have a lot of different electric skateboard parts now I don't quite have I do have everything to build an electric skateboard I could build a complete one right now I have the batteries they're not put together in a pack oh I don't have the BMS that's one thing I do need I don't have the BMS but I do have LG HE4 batteries um, I do have 40 of them I could make a 40 uh, 10s 4p so Another issue that you may come across if you have an Evolve Carbon GT um, and you do have a, a noise coming from back there. Right. So this here is the bearing from the drive gear. Inside that drive gear, it's got a bearing that's a little bit different than the skate wheel bearings. Let me show you why. The hole's gonna be bigger. That hole's bigger than that hole. That's because the axle that sits on is a little bit bigger than the axle that the wheel actually sits on. Okay? So, regularly, regularly, I'm telling you right now, take the wheel off, take your drive gear off, clean this bearing. This is part of maintenance. You should be able to spin this and you should get a nice spin out of it. Now mine spins and it stops. But it spins pretty good still. So the bearing's not shot, just a little dirty. The bearing needs to just be cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna spray some uh, cleaner. Spray some cleaner on there, get it in there, move it around, free it up a little bit more. Let me see if I can get this thing to zing. Zing! That's what you want. That's a good bearing. If you go like this, and it goes zing, that's when you, you have a good bearing. Right now, I got half zing. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's go spray this up, and then I'll show you what to do. This is very, very good maintenance. Some people ask, I've had people ask, well, what kind of maintenance do you do? This is one thing, all right? You wanna do some maintenance on the board? Here you go. Step one, dry bearing. Let's go do this. All right, come back here in the shop. Let's see, what do we got? Drum cutter. Parking here, guys. Gum cutter. PB blaster penetration. I like this stuff, it's got no tip. All right, I'm gonna settle for some gum cutter right now. Now, if you use gum cutter and you clean this bearing out, you gotta be sure to follow some steps here after this. We're gonna spray both sides. Wheeled around. Being on this rust probably isn't the best spot here. Alright, let's bring this back inside. There's some stinky stuff. Alright. 
wipe this off real good. Now, if you notice, if you notice my drive bearing was already pretty clean. That's because, sorry, that's because I take this apart regularly and I clean it regularly. Yours probably doesn't look like that if you haven't been maintenancing your board. I mean, there's a lot more maintenance than if this was like a car, a bike. There really is. You get, with like a bicycle, there's more just get up and go. I mean, who really inspects your bicycle before they go out for a ride? It doesn't happen because bikes have been perfected. These skateboards haven't been perfected, guys. It's just the, it's just the truth. I, I know that's going to stab into a couple companies. I know it is. I know. And I'm sorry. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do that by, by, by any means. At least I don't want to drive the stick. But the truth is, perfection has not been obtained yet. It really hasn't. And it's gonna be hard to obtain. It's gonna be very expensive and it's gonna be hard. That board is gonna cost money. That perfect board that's gonna really hold up, it's, it's gonna end up costing money. And if Bob's trying to go there, the problem is you're committed. Once you spend this much money, you're committed. And unfortunately, there are problems. Are they stand-up company? Well, they're not like Genesis. Genesis is a real stand-up company. <laughs> Plain and simple, they really are. Sending whole complete boards, but their boards are also cheaper. I don't know, Genesis definitely did the right thing as a company, without a doubt, 100%. I can back them. I can say, I would buy a Genesis skateboard. I, yeah. I bought one. <laughs> All right, guys. I spun this around a couple times, wiped it up. It spent now, it still stops, but it spins much better. The noise is a lot like smoother sounding, I guess you could say. Good enough for me. That bearing's only gonna get so good. It's only so good of a bearing. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not too sure this is an ABEC rated bearing or not. Now I'm going to take blue grease. I'm going to be honest with you, this is actually frame grease, but it's used for ball bearings as well. I'm going to mash it into the bearing. I'm going to get it between my fingers. I'm going to put it in these crevices. I'm gonna go like this and spin it. It's gonna take a lot for me to get grease into this because this is sealed, technically. It's not sealed that good. You can get grease into it. And I've already gotten some in there because I can feel it working around the ball bearing as I spin it. I can feel it sticking. And the movement gets smoother and smoother and smoother as I spin and spin and get that grease into there. You'll get it guys, trust me. It, it's not completely sealed. There's gonna be people that are gonna say, you're an idiot, that's a sealed bearing. Don't, don't listen to them. If you take care of your stuff and you're on top of it, there's no need to just replace this bearing. This is still a good bearing, it, really, it is. All right, now that noise is gone and I can feel the movement's just fluid. It's just fluid. That's exactly what I want. Now, from, I don't always participate in all the groups and forums and all that, but I read them all. And from what I've seen, drive bearing is probably one of the first things to go mechanically and it's probably one of the first things to go mechanically that should go, that should be replaced. 
I'm still in maintenance mode. I haven't used my board enough. Now, if you don't maintenance your board, you might have to replace yours at this point. Now, I've gone ahead and wiped all this off and got it clean. Just because I want to show you that I did get grease into the bearing. I was able to do that. Now, I spin it and it stops. That's because it's full of hard grease right now. When it starts working, it's going to heat up. That grease is going to liquefy. It's going to spread through the bearing and it's going to do its job. Now, let me show you. This is what you do next. Talk about stinky. See this stuff? Woo! That stuff smells. Okay. Now, just from being a skateboarder and being around them, make sure all this is very well cleaned. I already cleaned this up. Okay. Make sure all this is clean. This surface area is clean. Feel it inspect it again and then take the little bit of grease don't go overboard because this grease will hold dirt as well all right take a little bit of grease and put it on the inside right here okay where that washer sits and then put the washer on and then take a little bit of grease just a little little bit guys look i don't have much a little bit and get that washer wet okay now what this is going to help do this is going to help reduce the friction between metal to metal and metal okay so I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the outside of that I'm going to put it on there right so the force of it pushing down and spinning at the same time is going to cause friction between all the metal and we're going to reduce that friction with a little bit of grease and even on in here this right here make a world of a difference beautiful all right now before before you put your hub gear back on guys well, first of all, clean your hands off. Hold on. All right, before you put your hub gear back on, inspect the inside very, very good. Make sure it's smooth, and of course, clean this really good. Don't leave any dirt. If you have a little piece of dirt in here and you try to put that bearing on, it might go on crooked like this, and then you're gonna end up cutting into this. And then the bearing's not going to fit tight. You're going to have all sorts of problems. So make sure that's clean. I like to put my bearing on first. Put this over it. And push down. Real easy. See how it spins? That's a beautiful thing. I can pull that back off if I please. And you see a little bit of grease on that outer rim? Perfect. It's exactly what you want. A little bit of grease on that outer brim. See? All right. There it is back on there perfect look how that spins now beautiful beautiful and I tighten that gear up and now I'm gonna put her all back together all right guys I've never gone over maintenance before on electric skateboards so that's gonna be my first maintenance tip for you um, I think that's a really good tip I definitely think that's a really good tip I'll go over some other things but Tip number one, this will pertain to the Evolve Carbon GT, but it also pertain to any other skateboard that's similar in fashion that would have that drive uh, bearing gear and or that
drive gear bearing inside there. That's definitely some maintenance you want to take care of on the regular, depending on how much you use it. Now, you know how much you use it. You make that decision. This is your board. This is how you get around. This is your fun. This is whatever it is to you. All right. Don't expect to have savvy results if you're not doing stuff like this. I would say I probably I probably put on about 50 miles or so, maybe 75 kilometers, 60 kilometers um, before I go at least take it apart and clean it. Maybe not a full greasing, depending on how it's spinning and all. This really doesn't take much time. It's pretty quick. Evolve comes with the skate tool. Use the skate tool. This is there for a reason. It's not just there because they wanted to look good and have a tool. It's because it's something you have to have. And the other thing I keep on hand is a five millimeter wrench because those motor bolts, constantly check them, constantly. I ride around without my covers on now only simply because I've already had two issues where sticks, luckily I caught it quick, but stick went up and it actually got caught right there in the cover. Um, I mean, the cover helped protect it, but the cover was part of the culprit at the same time. I don't even use the covers. It seems to work out fine. Everything seems to be good. Just be wary about what you're riding in. If you're in sand and dirt and more stuff to get the board dirty and into the components you're gonna have more issues it's gonna be pretty obvious one thing i've Any, done my entire life is uh road dirt bikes motorcycles all sorts of uh atv machinery one thing i could tell you when when we go dirt bike riding is when we're done every time we go riding when we're done, we change the oil. When we go out on our trucks and we go four by four, when we're done, we change the, uh, the differential fluid. It's simply because we're putting the vehicle through more strain and more use than we typically would. It's gonna be extreme use. So you know when you're going to extremes, when you're using it in a more dirty area, that should be your gauge to how often you're doing this kind of stuff, how often you're keeping it clean and you're maintaining, all right? Very, very, very important. I can't stress the fact enough that if you don't maintain your board, you're, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna be unhappy, and it's gonna be because of you. It's not gonna be due to a, a cheap part or companies issue that'll be your problem because you didn't do the maintenance very important all right guys drive gear bearing that's it for today we'll go over some more stuff some other time if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that you guys want to see you want me to talk about just let me know and we'll do this i got all sorts of videos playing that we can do when i go to build the skateboard that whole that whole series will be very, very informational. And you guys get to see it kind of like as a, a how I get it because I'm still learning too. There's a lot that I know, but there's a lot that I'm still learning. So hopefully I'll be able to relate as best as I can to all those who don't have as much knowledge and that need a little bit more help. Don't forget, you can also email me content Email me your advertisement if you're a manufacturer or retailer. EskateWorldUSA at gmail.com. All right. Advertising's free right now. I haven't changed any of the web page yet. I have like big plans in my head and all, and I need some time for this. Just bear with me. Once I get it going, everything should be great. Guys, take it easy. Peace. And I'll keep it.